Your Hornet, you better give up and come out. Dead or alive, they said, it makes no difference to me. All right, Mr. Hornet. You? Where's the hornet? Oh, don't tell me I've killed you. The gray hornet? I had him trapped. I tried to overpower him. He escaped through that window. But how in, in the world did he ever get through there? And there he goes. Sure, he must be the devil himself. You sure none of them bullets hit you, Reed? No, I'm all right. That's twice the green harness slipped through my fingers. You're as slippery as an eel, Michael. You got away from me, too. I'm nearly with you by the looks of you. Well, I guess there's nothing left to do but be on our way. So you got the green hornet, eh? Nice going, Jinx. Yeah, you seem kind of glad he got away. Well, maybe I am. And if you ask me, I think he's giving the crooks a run for their money. Yeah, well, wait until after the election and watch the Canby administration give the Green Hornet a run for his money. You talk as if John Canby were already elected. It's in the bag, Casey, because that boy has promised to really clean up the town. Oh, Casey. Reed's in his office, isn't he? He's with Judge Stanton, head of the Non-Partisan Voters League. Suffering mackerels are the little many fish. <laughs> Even at this late hour. If the Sentinel will come out in favor of Hargrave, he'd be elected mayor tomorrow. Well, why should the Sentinel take a stand against Canby, his opponent? He has a clean record. I have reason to believe that every crook in town is backing Canby. Have you any definite proof of that? No. Well, I'm sorry, Judge. Unless you can bring forward definite proof, the Sentinel will have to maintain its neutral stand. You're making a mistake, Reed. I don't think so. Ogden, these figures gathered from Canby's precinct captains indicate his election. Then it's in the bag? We've got to make sure. Sit down. And these wards here, we've got to muster more sure votes for Canby. Oh, that'll be a cinch. The boys have made enough false registrations to elect an alley cat mayor. Well, if we can make Canby mayor, our syndicate will clean up millions. Yeah. It'll be easier to get rid of Brett Reed than the Green Hornet. Brett Reed, the 
morning, Mr. Reed. Morning. The boat's coming in heavy. That's fine. I'm always glad to see people take an interest in civic affairs. Make an expert. That's Britt Reed of the Sentinel. He's done more for this town than any man I know of. That's a true word for you. He's done just that. Names, gentlemen. Scanlon's the name. George Scanlon. Here, you can't do that. Oh, no. no. Alex Stuffin, an attempted murder. That car going away there. Michael, you call an ambulance and then stay here. I'm going after those crooks. I... Evidence of intimidation and corruption in all precincts. Four men have been killed and a dozen others sent to hospitals. That's all, Miss Case. Transcribe it and get a rewrite man on it. Yes, sir. I want an extra on the street as quickly as possible. Judge Stanton was right. The criminal element of this city is lined up solidly behind Canby. No casualties among the Candy people, eh? Not one. That's not all. The Canby crowd are voting ghosts. Are you sure of that? Dead sure. The registration lists have names of people that have been dead for years. I want an extra on the streets quickly. On the way. Axford, get my car on in front, on the double. Yes, sir. Pick up a camera and meet me downstairs in five minutes. Okay. Hey, that car looks familiar. Thought so. Those birds are repeaters. That's the third polling place I've seen them go in today. Here comes that same car. Look, man of action, don't point. This is good manners, and you're liable to get our blocks knocked off. Do you think that car contains the same men we saw voting at the last polling place? Absolutely. Oh, you're wrong, Jenks. That's the same car, but they're not the same men. They're not repeaters. Keep your shirt on, boss. Get to the car and be ready for a quick getaway. Get a match. twice the same place by disguising themselves with masks. Well, what are we running away from? We've got to save these pictures. They're valuable evidence. Pull over with that car.
Sergeant, the assistant central law office by now. Jake, I run them hoodlums away. Works for you all about that election scandal, Luxray. Get that certain Luxray. Ballot boxes stuffed for the legal vote, Luxray. Read about those stuffed ballot boxes, Luxray. John can't be elected mayor, Luxray. Read about the new mayor, Luxray. The John can't be elected mayor, Luxray. Congratulations, Mayor Canby. Come over in the morning and I'll give you a list of appointments I want you to make. You're the district attorney, and there's plenty of evidence to prove wholesale fraud in this election. What do you want me to do? Subpoena the ballots and put them in a safe place. Why? So we can fingerprint them and prove illegal handling. That's a great idea, but it'll take two days to obtain possession of those ballots through a court order. Well, that won't do. The minute the gang and back of Canby find out they're going to be subpoenaed, they'll destroy them. I'm afraid that's the best I can do. All right. Rex, Rex, the reason for all the ballots in Ponda tomorrow, Rex, uh, I, I got the paper here. Ogden, those ballots have got to be destroyed tonight. Where are they now? Stored in the Tri-State Warehouse. The warehouse might burn down. No, the fire might be put out before the ballots were destroyed. You better have the boys hijack them out of the warehouse and burn them on the road somewhere. Okay. Dean will know how to handle it. Get the Hornets disguised, kiddo. Yes, sir. Hello. Hello, Banks Incorporated? Yes, sir. This is the Daily Sentinel speaking. We've had some heavy collections come in since the banks have closed. Want an armored car? Yes, that's right. An armored car at the loading platform as soon as possible. Yes, thanks. Go ahead. What you do now, Mr. Britt? I'm afraid, Cato, the Green Hornet is going to have to do what the law has been unable to do. Prevent those ballots from falling into the hands of crooks. What do you fellas want? Somebody here phoned for a bank car. Nobody told me nothing about it. Come inside, we'll find out. <coughs> Sorry, old man, but you'll be all right in a few minutes. Sure you got them all? Yeah. I checked them off this copy of the warehouse receipts. I snitched from the election commissioner's office. Okay, Pete. On the cheaper loaded. Hold it. you to do exactly as you're told. There's an armored car coming here. I want you to unload the cases from that truck and put them in the armored car. <laughs> we are not. All right, you ask for it. No, no. Don't shoot. We'll do what you say. Yeah, that's the last one. Keep them covered. I'll take a look. Nice work. We'll be back for them later. I'll take the Westwood Pike to Valley Spring Road. Then use the cutoff. You follow me. Hello. This is Pete. The Hornet.
cornered down Dean and Corey with that devil gun. He's on his way with the ballots. You poor saps. Three against one, you let that racketeer outsmart you. I'm telling you, he can still stop him. What? Going by the way of the Westwood Pike to Valley Spring Road. Andy's up at the Morthison place. Phone him and have him get busy. But this'll stop the armored car, Andy. Now, the armored car. Come on. 